Hello? Hi, Colleen, it's me. You may already know this, but I'm going to do a little traveling soon. In fact, I'm already quite the way through it. I should have called you earlier. Oh, well. Why? I thought you didn't like traveling. Well, I see. Colleen explains PowerPoint to the third infant opposes humanity. I find that difficult to believe, Colin. Are you just fooling around? I'm serious, Colleen. We're all in danger. When you have a moment, call up my boss. Tell him I'll need to take a leave of absence. Okay, I have his number written down somewhere. Wait a second, I think Selena wants to talk to you. Here. <laughs> you morons just try to get me. I'm on a ladder now, bitches. Hey guys, it's Skulker 3 and welcome to part 28 of Let's Play Colin Bound. As you see, the city of Garson is back to its nice, happy self without insects filling the sky of horror and death. Uh, in the last part, we defeated uh, some kind of computer geek thing and got to Milky Well. Uh, I made the way back from... Um, Reticulian village to here just because I thought you guys wouldn't really want to see that and now we have this hello Thank you so much for beating Brock. You guys are the greatest. I know I know thanks to you Brock and his insect army have withdrawn from Garshan. They have indeed Yay, we can finally see the sky again Brock's insects are no longer blotting out the Sun. I what? Sorry, I think I heard something strange there. I Don't know um, it's a bright sunny summer day today I'm going to celebrate. Well, you do that, you crazy lady. Hello. Come visit Garson again sometime soon. We would love to see you again. And we'd love to see you too again, Skiddy. It's a weird name you got there, Skiddy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so yes, everything is a lot more peaceful and quiet now and everything. Um, if you're wondering what that bit of the opening was, I'm saying this now so I force myself to edit it in. Um, that's a scene I recorded quite a while ago that I forgot to put in when I was depositing some items. Um, I just wanted to show off what that dialogue was when you first call your wife and find out that your daughter can take items from you and it's all a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, that's the entire story about that. So let's see what this Thank you! Thank you all so very much! You saved this little old town. Sure did. There's some big traffic jam along the highway over in Carberry Dunes. I just heard a report on the radio a minute or two ago. You listen to the radio? Man, kids today. Thank you! You're welcome. Are you gonna say thank you as well? I never thought you guys could actually do it. When you went after Brock, I thought you were gone as for sure. It's amazing that you actually beat him. His insects and rats are history now, all thanks to you three. Yes! Booyah! Okay, first of all, you could have said thanks. And second, it's not a very nice thing to say to someone who's just, you know, saved your entire town. You know, I didn't have any faith in you whatsoever. I thought, I thought you were gonna die and we were just gonna be infected or infested by uh, and rodents and beasts forever. Hello. I just got here only a few minutes ago. I wanted to see the plague of insects and vermin that was supposed to be here. But there aren't any clouds of insects blocking out the sun. There are no packs of rats in the teleportation tunnels either. Apparently, people in Garth have nothing better to do than make up stories. I might as well head back home. But then, was it right for us to defeat Brock? Moral choices! Actually, no. It was completely right for us to do that. <laughs> just because we disappointed a tourist, I think, is not good enough reason not to save a town. Um, I'm sure everyone else has interesting things to say, like this guy. I won't step foot in the teleportation tunnel until I'm sure all the vermin are gone. I wonder if it's safe now. No, I'd better wait a little more just to be sure. Yeah, sure, why not. Us, on the other hand, or we, on the other hand, are going to head through the tunnel and make our way to the desert of joy and horror. How can it be both? Bah. Don't you enjoy horror movies? Because some people do. I do, but, um, yeah, what can I say? Uh, and now we are in a little sort of in-between area. 
that does nothing. Seriously, what is the point of this little bit? Is it just to show, like, stuff changing? Maybe I missed something, but I don't think I did. Ah, well. <laughs> That's for the courts to decide. So, yes, we are now in the desert of Carberry Dunes. Let's find our way around town and see what people have to sell us. What's this? There's nothing of interest here. I don't think, I think I could have taken a bus here, but... Meh. That's not important anymore. Ooh, let's see what's in drugs. Hut. You, sell me some drugs. Hello, how can I help you today? I'd like to buy some drugs. Uh, oh, we can buy some... Stuff. What does this do? Yeah, I don't want to buy it. I want to find out what it does. Hello. Hello, how can I help you today? What can I get for you? Uh, oh, this doesn't look nice. Like, nice sus Uh, really? Kerry doesn't get improvement from that? Okay, so we want to get... Let's... Hmm. Let me say about two, three thousand. Uh, we should have the right amount. Woo, we've definitely got that amount. Um, I'll bring it down to thirty thousand, just because I'm a bit weird like that. My account has been debited to 2846. Hopefully this will be enough. It should it be when I sell um, this rugby helmet. Yeah, because I know it was less than 3,000 uh, for everything. And also I'll be selling back anything that I um, unequip, so it's all great. Uh, yes, please take that Jupiter staff away from me. I can't stand to look at it a second more. And the iron helmet, because that's great. Excellent. Uh, I am interested in selling it. Um, yeah, Black Spear for Zuria. I kind of hope the one I have equipped doesn't have a special thing to it, but I'm guessing it doesn't. And finally, a Riot Knife for Kerry. What exactly is a Riot Knife? Like, a Riot Shield, if I can understand. But, a Riot Knife? Is it for stabbing people who protest in great numbers? Hi there, you look a little tired. You have a few cots in the storage room if you want to sleep here tonight. If you're interested, the price is $210. Is that okay with you? Yeah, go on then. We've got the monies and might as well heal up, I guess. While we're here. Because we've got a trek into the desert today. So we want to make sure we're fighting fit. We don't want to collapse and die. Um, so if we head, keep heading on over this way, we find a woman and a guy and several other guys and overall a traffic jam. Um, I'm about ready to tear apart a saguaro cactus with my bare hands. This mess is so frustrating. I've been standing here for more than four hours. Well, you know, maybe by this point you should just walk through the desert. I mean, it's not going to be fun, but I'm going to be able to make this loop in, what, 20 minutes? I don't know. Um, and let's see what woman face over here says. If you're going to Winnipeg, it might be faster to cross the desert on foot. See, that's what I just said, but no one's listening to me. Um, also, for anyone who doesn't know, any time that you are on ground... Hi, Jeff. Any time you're on ground where you're sweating, you risk suffering from... I'm not sure what it is in this game, but I'm guessing it'll be sunstroke. Slash sunburn, same as that. Hi there, my name's Jeff Andernuts. What can I do for you today? I would like to buy none of those at all. Thank you very much, Jeff. You don't want to do business with me? That's disappointing. I'm sorry, Jeff, but you're just useless. No. Hello. This is the entrance. This is the entrance to the boroughs of the peaceful clan of Decoya goblins. Our clan has stayed out of trouble for more than a hundred years, though I've heard that other goblin clans haven't stopped causing mischief. Well, let's see what you Decoya goblins have going on down here, shall we? Oh, hang on. Is this the place with the trading sequence? Oh, I think it is. Hello. I said hello. Hello. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I thought for a minute he'd done another glitch where it was like, you can't talk to anyone, and he was more extreme this time. Well, he's meditating. This is Niema. Roughly a hundred years ago, he came here from a monastery in Tibet. He tried to wean our clan away from our mischievous ways. It was tough going at first. Petty theft, vandalism, pranks, and the like were a big part of our tradition. A few goblins were willing to change at first, but he was finally able to get us to turn over a new leaf. We have kept our noses clean for decades. Decades, I tell you! Well, that's great, fella. I'm proud of you, Jacoya goblins. Um, Jacoya yourself goblins. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. Uh, and for my crimes, I will now have to fight an old man. <laughs> okay. We have a desert owl with some kind of light 
and the hand of Sirius, which is horrifying. Let's kill the hand of Sirius first, I think. Whoa! No, 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 no. Oh. Um, yeah, guys, I'm not sure if you've got the memo yet, but, um, I'm not the biggest fan of being confused. I find it irritating. And, um, to that effect, oh, good. Unconfused carry, which is good. Um, but to that effect, I'm just gonna make sure anytime I come across desert owls, I'm gonna. Ah. Uh, no, don't do that. Uh, but anytime I come across desert owls from now on, I'm gonna make them my priority because I don't want to get confused. No! Oh, come on, stop putting Carrie to sleep. She's prob I'm guessing that ice stuff is gonna do very well here in the desert. And oh my goodness! Ah, kill it! Kill it with ice and bashing! Go, 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 please, kill it, please! Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh that was close. <laughs> oh, blimey, O'Reilly, oh, I say. <laughs> oh, thank God. Um, okay, Gary, heal up Zeria. Let's use two. Um, <laughs> blimey. Um, right. So now we know those guys together are very deadly. Bear in mind. A baked potato? I'm not a big fan of them. A large potato baked in a con conventional oven for one hour. This bud is then cross sliced, squeezed open, and topped with a pat of butter. When it's eaten, we'll really learn how to split a little bit. It'll apparently make our tongues fall out, and we won't be able to say anything. Actually, no, from the sound of it, it'll make our tongues swell. Hey, this guy doesn't want to fight. I'm going to kill him just because I can. Ha <laughs> ha! Sense of power! So, what are you? Wait a minute. I remember this name. It just said run away. So I'm gonna follow that advice. Because I don't want to fight Nightwing. Because apparently it's pure Satan. Um. However, I would like to check with the creator. Was that guide actually correct? Am I meant to run from Nightwings or are they actually really, really easy to kill? How you doing? Hi there, the name is Blake. I find it surprising that you would want to try to do you tried to talk to an ordinary blackhead. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll be talking to your dandruff. Now that I mention it, I used to play with a flake of dandruff when I was younger. Remember, her name was Whitney. Now you see what they did there? Blake, Black, Whitney, White. Da. If you do see her out there, tell her I'd like to spend some time with her. I want to relive old memories and all that sweet stuff. Da. The traditional blackhead meets dandruff story. And so to commemorate this event... Hello! My name is Wallace! I'm a photographic virtuoso. For years I've been trying to take the perfect portrait. With your help, I just might be able to snap such a picture. Smile for the camera. Good, you just messed up my photo. But I'm fine with it. This desert is far too hot for me. Goodbye! Wallace. The only person who ever learned how to do PSI Teleport Omega. Colin open opened the present. There is a phoenix's ashes inside. Hooray! Those are always good to have. Oh, hello, Nightwing. Oh, 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 I'm so, I'm scaring you, huh? I'm scaring you. Ah, Nightwing, way. Ooh, it's so scary. Ah, Nightwing. Oh, here's a snake. I thought he was running away from his tooth for a second there, and... Did the music sound weird to you just then? Rattlesnake! Let's bash the heck out of it. I want to say this enemy sprite is another one from Dragon Quest, but I'm not sure. I haven't actually played any of the Dragon Quests other than 9. Um, I've been tempted to, but I just haven't got around to it or had access to it or anything like that, so yeah. Actually, I think I've had chances to get like Dragon Quest 4 while I've been around the place, but whoa! Get back here, Sparkly! Sparkly, no! Return! I choose you! Get in my face! Sparkly! Sparkly! Yeah, not so fast now, are you? You know what would be a good dick move would be to put one of those as like an enemy sprite and make it a really tough enemy. <laughs> so you're just like, oh come on, I need to get it. Need to go. Oh no, it's trying to kill me. Um. Oh, there's another one. Quick, quickly. Oh no. Oh no no. Oh, uh, I had far too much fun with that. Oh no, not marmalade and a fire brawler. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna take out the marmalade first. Um. I'm not sure why, I think it's just because the fire brawler looks identical to a fobby. Or is it a foppy? No, it's fobby. Foppies are the orange ones. I 
think. Yeah. 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 Of course, four pieces of orange. Kerry gobbled up the remains of the marmalade. Uh, I wonder if it... If, um, because I have no way of testing at the moment, because Kerry was the one who did that final attack. Um, if it means that she's the one who gobbles it up just because she killed it, or if it's that Kerry gobbles it up all the time, even if Zeria killed it or whatever. Colin's level is now 33. Offense went up by half the battle. Bah, Colin is pilot absorbed 2. That's going to be pretty cool, I guess, actually. It means I'm less likely to run out of PP if I remember I have that skill. Um, which I probably won't, but hey. Uh, you! Sparkly! Sparkly, don't do this again! <laughs> okay, now you got a sparkly. Hey! How you doing? It's too bloody hot out here! I'll rest in this oasis until late this afternoon. It should get a little cooler around 5 or so. Are you planning on walking around in the sun now? If you are, you need to watch yourself for sunburns. Indeed! I already told the nice people about that. Oh, here's some orbs. Yeah, the music sounded weird again. Like, sort of if it was underwater. Was in the fuck? Um, right. Um, cactus! <laughs> Gee! A 101 needle attack. Why? <laughs> why a 101 needle attack? Hmm, why couldn't it be like a half a needle attack? Hmm? The less pointy end of it. That that would be more like preferable, if you ask me. Um Yeah. Is more preferable really a term I need to use? Couldn't I just say preferable? I don't know. Kerry's level is now 32. Yay! And does she get a new skill? I hope so. Dang. No new skill for Kerry. Uh, however, she doesn't to unpoison herself, which I'm getting a bit annoyed with, guys. Stop with all the poisoning. It's, like, rude. Okay, let's stomp on this snake, because I can get a back attack. Yeah, back in the... Oh! Yes! Auto kill. Always good. I thought I was going to have to cut again there, and... Can I go to kill this guy? Let's see. No. I wound up killing it in one round anyways because um, Zuria got a smash attack, so <laughs> that's helpful. Um, and yes, sunburn, for those who don't know, is much like poisoning, only I think it's weaker. Um, now, if I remember correctly, then here's a snake. Back in a sec. No, what I was going to say is sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. No, I wasn't going to say that either. Uh, I was going to say I think the flake of dandruff should be somewhere around here, but I'm not sure. So, this could be pointless adventuring. Back in a sec. Zeria's level is now 30. Offense went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 3. That was rubbish, Zeria. Couldn't even get one measly IQ. Because that's all you need to be able to repair the next item. And that would be amazing. Uh, nope. Looks like I was wrong about the dandruff. Um, though I didn't talk to some sunbathers I saw earlier, I think. I'm gonna see if I can find them again. It's near the black head. No, go away. Ah, no, why? Okay, I can now confirm that whoever it is that kills the marmalade eats it. Like, just there, Colin killed it in the end, and so he ate the marmalade. Bag of peanuts. How much do you heal about 40? Yeah. Uh, you see on Zuria then. And the mini muffin. Holy crap. Six. <laughs> Okay, we'll use that on carry, and then use the baked potato, it's about 95, was it? Oh yes, uh, I'll use that on Colin. Which, frankly, eating a baked potato in the middle of the desert probably isn't the best idea. Tori's lifelong ambition is for the perfect tan. She's spent years trying to tan herself into a bronze-skinned goddess. Is her secondary goal to survive the, kin the skin cancer she'll get in 20 years? Buzz off! And don't you dare talk like that about my wife again. It's a secondary goal to survive the skin cancer she'll get in 20 years? Damn it, kid! Everyone will be jealous of this smooth tan of mine when I return to work. Okay. I'm not liking the sort of disconcerting look you're giving to all the viewers, though. Hello, viewers. I won't hurt you. And on that terrifying note, I'm going to end this... Oh, someone sunburnt. Uh, Kerry again. Great. Um, on that scary note, I'm going to end this part of Let's Play Conan Bound here. Oh, apparently you don't even need to be moving for sunburn to hurt you. Okay, let's heal that up right now. 
Um, and yes, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Either for the next part of this, or for the first part of a new project. Woo! I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.